What's happening everybody? It is December 14th, 2020. December 14th, 2020. And it's 8.53 p.m. Got uh, called out the Sheriff's Department here for something that has expired registration. Or as we just call it, expired tags. Uh, well, actually, technically it's expired tags over six months. They've had a chance, and well, I guess they have a chance right now. They're up here off of Oso and Bridalwood. Should be this damn light. Does it run? No. Okay. At least it helps. Really? Oh, I'm gonna take a while. I guess it's that front end's not helping nothing. recommend to a lot of people thank you guys all right thank you it's uh oscar right this one no. No, he's walking away all right cool. three fifty That depends on the tow company, because some of us are faster. Well, I was talking about our end. The oh yeah. End. Usually you guys get that done, and yeah. by the time we show up, you have it ready. Sometimes you don't. Yeah. No big deal for us. Guess I'm about to find out how much weight he's got in the back of this thing. <laughs>
something blew up on this thing. I see oil. Oh yes, I see oil. Never a good sign. Blew the motor, it looks like. I wish they would impound that semi truck finally. Well, wishing and hoping are two different things. All right. My back is hurting me today. So, how a little, uh, little sore for wear. Getting old. I mean, definitely ain't getting any younger. That's for damn sure. Watch that gate. Watch that gate. Straight shot back. Just take it easy coming back on the mirrors. I'm gonna move that wheel lift out the way and it's gonna go right there. We are. I think we're good, but I'm gonna. Roll up that door a little more, just in case. Looks like uh, somebody had a bad driver's license too. They put this one as a 30 day impound. They don't do that for registration. They do 
do that because somebody's got a suspended license and they got caught driving on it. All right. I'm gonna get. Oh yeah, we're gonna hit that. <laughs> yeah, no way we're gonna clear that. We're just a few inches too tall. Yeah, we usually don't have this thing the way. Oh, we're Overhead door service. 2015, damn. These tags have been expired for a long time. I don't know if that's the company this belongs to or if they sold the truck and did a really bad job of taking their name off the side of it. I don't know, don't care, not my issue. It's a lot of money, a lot of registration to get caught up on. Especially on this behemoth. Weight fees. On these things are a killer. Well, California gets you for weight fees on commercial plates, pickup trucks, etc. That's a 350 with a utility body, so it's gonna have some, uh, it's gonna have some good weight fees. Take it easy, make sure my flag is gonna go over right. Move that wheel lift out the way. I was actually doing paperwork on another one and I got this one. I'm just gonna park the wheel up right there. We normally put it. Probably wouldn't be a bad truck if it didn't have a blown engine. And a couple gram with the freaking a couple gram with the registration note on it. Shit. That I can say for sure, it's got to be a good couple of thousand dollars. Right, I need to move that flat bed up. I can get into some tight spots with this thing, but why if I don't need to? So I'm going to guess it broke down and it got rolled up on? I don't know. What you wonder? wonder I got that f-250 up here it belongs to a welding company and it's the same deal it's a tag deal I don't know why the guy hasn't come got it yet he come got his tag squared away honestly he's got you know good maybe 15 20 thousand dollars worth of equipment in the back of that thing so begs the question Who knows? I don't. All right, this thing's over here. Let there be light. And we're just gonna back up to right there. Yeah, it was a decent truck, but they kind of needs a paint job. Needs a front bumper. Needs a few things. And nonetheless, here we are. Right there will be. Now, Look at my other gloves. I know it's far back. Another set of gloves with me. Oh well. Alright, so. Yeah. It's okay, I can push it back. Not a big deal. 
I could go further back. No, I think I will. I get everything completely off. Back her up a little more. I do like the factor that the suspension stays down even when you release the uh, the brake. That was uh, that was something on the other truck. That it didn't do. Pull these out before roll the wheels back, because then I gotta fight the chains to get it out. I usually keep it. This side had a hit. I mean, it's not a bad truck. Not sure what the hell he blew. Just blew the main seal, ran it out of oil. Well, almost gonna get the motor's not in great shape anymore. That's for sure. <laughs> I mean, it's a Ford. These usually will pass small, so I don't understand. Oh no, I see. Uh, Heavy oil on that, uh, that right side there. It's not looking great. Telltale sign something wrong with the motor is in the back end. Everything that spits out of the motor blows backwards. So when I see oil all over the rear axle like that, I know something bad happened to my engine. And if they were driving it, they didn't shut it down right away. Could have blown a rod. Could just blew a rear main. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll look. I don't really feel like it right now, though. I just, I'm tired. Christmas is coming, and it's been a long day. It's a gasser too. It's not diesel. Gas caps giveaway, the Super Duty would have said diesel on it. It's an XL. It would say Power Stroke or something on it. And I can see copious amounts of oil all off the side here. I don't know, maybe we'll get it down and take a look. pipe coming off the back is heavily wet. No, I wouldn't recommend anybody to ever go underneath a vehicle like this, but uh, oil filter is gone. That's what happened. He blew the oil filter off. That's been known to happen on these too. Maybe it wasn't tightened on all the way. Wow, I hope he shut it down or I hope it shut off before uh, Before he destroyed the engine. I have an oil pressure sensor on these. We'll shut it down. We'll shut it down if it loses oil pressure. Well, hopefully that did its job and did that as soon as that filter came off or came loose. Because uh, yeah, that's not good. Good front axle on these too. That leaky oil on my bed, nah. 
Mickey puked most of it on the road. I could push it back more or I could leave it. Let's see if I can roll it. Yeah, she rolls. She roll. See, grabbing the wheel sometimes makes it easy to roll instead of trying to push the whole thing. Using coefficient of friction here. The wheels guns help. Mechanical leverage. I don't think we want to go back that far. But we're back far enough. Alright. This truck is beat to shit inside. Keys. Lock her up. Uh, I guess that doesn't really matter. Okay. I am going to pull out this time. I'm going to be too lazy to pull it back in. That's just me being lazy. Alrighty guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there and I will see you on the next one.